water system on your ProWall Commander is one of the most critical systems on your mixer. It is essential in maintaining a consistent water cement ratio and producing quality concrete. We'll review the components and preventative maintenance procedures to ensure this system functions reliably and accurately. Water System Components The water system is made up of nine major components. Water tank, water tank fill valve, which is a 1.5 inch cam lock connection, water tank gate valve, Y strainer, water pump, digital flow meter, pneumatic ball valve, manual ball valve, brass check valve. Y strainer. The Y strainer is designed to filter out any large contaminants. It needs to be inspected and cleaned regularly. If you're using well water, especially in warm climates like Florida, algae can start to build up in your water tank and in your Y strainer. If you start to notice algae buildup in your tank or strainer, we recommend shocking the system with a chlorine tab. Water pump. If the water lines were drained, the water pump will need to be primed before operation. Start by opening the water tank gate valve completely and open the brass drain valve on the bottom of the water pump until all air is flushed through. Then close the bleed valve. When primed, the water pump is activated with button 17 on the keypad. The return valve will circulate a small amount of water back to the tank. This keeps the pump from overheating if it's deadheaded for a long period of time. We recommend leaving this open for most applications. The Admix washout valve is used to flush out and maintain the Admix lines, which we will review with you in another video. Digital Flow Meter the digital flow meter reads water flow several times per second and relays that information to the PLC. The PLC then commands the water pump to speed up or slow down based on production rate and water cement ratio of the mix design. Over time, calcium and other minerals in your water can build up on the inside of the sensor. It's important to inspect and clean the flow meter periodically. Pneumatic Ball Valve the pneumatic ball valve has one simple job, to quickly start and stop water to the mix bowl. You want to make sure the filter regulator combo is set to about 80 psi. The regulator has a built-in filter that we recommend changing periodically. To change the filter, make sure the truck is off and air is bled out of the system. Push in the tab on the bowl and turn to access the filter. The pneumatic valve that opens and closes the ball valve is operated by pressing button 13 on the keypad. You can hear it activate and see the light on the solenoid if it is getting power. This valve has long service life, but may need to be cleaned or replaced if you start to experience issues. Brass Check Valve The brass check valve needs to be inspected periodically to make sure the seals are still in place and the poppet is seated properly. Manual Ball Valve The manual ball valve is a redundant feature that allows you to run the water in manual mode if necessary. It should remain open during normal operation. 